Last year, I reviewed the Govi LED lighting system for the TV. These were really cool because it had a camera on top of the TV that could change the lights based on what you were seeing on the TV. While they were really great, a few of the things they lacked were Wi-Fi connectivity, as well as they have all fallen off the TV and are sitting behind me right here. Well, in today's video, we're gonna try out a brand new product by Govi that are Wi-Fi capable. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. Today's video is sponsored by Govi so that I can show off the brand new Govi LED light strips that are Wi-Fi capable. So this is the Govi H6159 lighting system that is five meters long or 16.4 feet. So let's get this set up and show you what it's all about. So here inside the box, Thank you for choosing Gobi, you are welcome. So there we have the lighting system. So first we have a few tips on installing these. Don't put them on wool or fabric surfaces. Make sure there's no dust on the wall. Don't choose a rough or plastic surface and do not choose frost glass. Then make sure that when you install them, the lighting strip or the power cable is plugged in on the bottom. And then use a alcohol pad to clean off the dust before installation and then tear the plastic sheet bit by bit. So don't pull it off all at once and we will show you how to do that. And then stick them and press with force. Reinforce the strip with the included clips press the whole LED strip repeatedly, and then installation um, finish. So that was one of the problems I had before is they did fall off. So it's really cool that they added all of these instructions as well as those new clips to help them stay on better. So inside the box, let's see, we also have the user manual, some um, help guides there. And then here are the clips. It looks like it comes with about six of them. And then here we have the power brick the alcohol swabs, and then here we have the smart power cable. So this is how we'll turn it on. We'll be able to change the colors right here and we'll be able to switch through different scenes right there. Now this model does have 150 LEDs in the pack and it does run the full RGB scale. And so here is the light strip, pretty simple. All we need to do is plug this into our end here like that, and then we will plug this into here and then we'll plug that in the wall. And it looks like there is plenty of cable, so you'll be able to route these pretty much wherever you would want to be able to do that. And then here, these look really nice and they're wound up just like that. And so you are able to cut these if you want to, and you would just need to solder new connections together, but that's a spot in which you would be able to cut them. To get these set up on our Wi-Fi network, we're going to head into the Govi application. The application is available for Android or iPhones. And then up here, I'm gonna select the plus at the top to be able to add a new item. All right, so this is the five multicolor with Alexa option. So this will be compatible with Alexa, Google Assistant, but it is not compatible with HomeKit. So here we're going to select that one right there. We're going to allow for a device location. Here we're gonna open it up. We will need to sign into our account. Now that we have signed into our account, we just need to select on our device. And then here it is connecting together. And then here we could name the light. So we're going to name this TV strip. Hit done. Now we need to add our Wi-Fi network. So here it did find my 5G network, but down here it shows that it cannot connect to 5G wireless networks. So make sure you choose your 2.4, which is this one, and then type in your password. All right, now it is connected. So if I want to turn these on just right now, I can push the button here. And if they don't work, you need to swap this around. So I had this plugged in the wrong way, but it will plug on and clip just like that. So now we are in business. So here I can change the brightness right in the application. I could turn on a timer. So here I can choose DIY, which allows you to set different colors and speeds. So I could name this crazy. And then here I'm gonna add a few different colors. So if you want them to flicker or jump between a few different things, you can set the speed. You can have it fade, jump, flicker, or combo, and then hit apply. And then it will jump between those different ones. So let's hit apply there, make it a little faster. So now it's jumping between those different colors. So you could add all kinds of different styles right there. Now that these are set up through the Govi application, I'm gonna go ahead and get them installed and then I'll show you how to add them to your smart assistant like 
Amazon Alexa, or Google Assistant. So I did test to see if I could put these behind my little shelves here, but in the end, I didn't like the look of the reflection of each of the LEDs. So we're gonna put it on the back of the TV. Now it did mention that it doesn't work great when adhered to plastic surfaces, but we're gonna try it again. So here I'm gonna press firmly at each portion of the strip, and then I'm also going to make sure that I'm only taking off the back as soon as I'm ready to place it onto the TV. I really like that it came with these clips, but I do wish more were included. So I did have enough that I wanted to go around a second time to increase the intensity, but I ran out at the end right here. So I do have a second set so I can actually clip part of that off. And so with the extra set, I was able to finish a full second loop. To get this new portion to work, I will need to get some wiring and solder it onto the strips. Now with some tinkering, I was able to get them to stay on, but I will need to solder them for a permanent solution. And now the installation is complete. So now that I have them installed, I can use the little remote right here to quickly turn them on and off and change the color. So there they are off, turn them back on, and now I can switch through the different color options. And then I can also change the different scenes. So here, if I press the bottom button here, it goes to the flashing scene, push it again. Now it is on the music scene. So any music that is in the room, any sound that's playing, it's going to interact with that sound. Wow, that looks much better. So now that we have them set up on the TV and working properly, let's go ahead and get them set up on our different assistants. First, let's head into the Google Home application to get them set up with Google Assistant. We're gonna select the Home, and then we're gonna select Add, and we are going to set up a device. And then we're gonna select Have Something Already Set Up. So since we've already set these up in the GoV application, we're gonna come in here and search for GoV. Here we see the Govi Home, and then it will ask us to sign in to our Govi account that we created earlier. Now that we've signed in, if we go back to the Home and scroll down to the very bottom, here we can see that we have the TV strip. So if I come into the application, select Off, we can see that they turned off right there, and then we can select On. Now if we tap on the TV strip, I can go ahead and add this to a room. So let's go and add it to the room. We're gonna add it into my Home, and then we're going to add it into the office lights. So that's what I have set up already in here. So we're gonna select office and then select next. Now we do also have the option right within the Google Home application to adjust the brightness as well as the color. So here we can set it up to 100% brightness and then we could change the color to whatever color we want it to be. All right, let's test that out with our Google Assistant. Okay, Google. Turn off TV strip. There, it turned it off. Okay, Google. Turn on TV strip. You got it. Turning the TV strip on. All right, now let's change the color. Okay, Google. Turn the TV strip to purple. You got it. Changing the TV strip to purple. And there it goes. So now let's get this set up with Amazon Alexa. To do that, we're going to head right into the Amazon Alexa application and you will notice that whenever I say these certain words there will be pop-ups on screen just to show that I'm activating them but I'm not actually activating yours in your home. So once we're in the Amazon application here we're going to hit the menu and we're going to go into the skills and game section and then we're going to search for GoV. Here we found GoV and we're going to enable to use and we're going to sign into our GoV account. Now that we have done that, we're gonna go back. Once we've activated the Govi account, then we can just go under devices. You may need to select discover, but I'm just gonna go into the light section. And if we scroll down here, we will see that the TV strip has been added. So I'm able to activate with my Amazon smart assistant, or I'm gonna go into the TV strip here and I can actually change the color right from within the app. So I can choose all those different colors as well as I can turn it on and off just like that. So now let's try it out with voice. Alexa, turn off the TV strip. Okay. There it goes. Alexa, turn on the TV strip. Okay. Alexa, set the TV strip brightness to 10%. Okay. Alexa, set the TV strip brightness to 100%. Okay. Alexa, set the TV strip brightness to blue. 
Okay. And there we go. We have it fully set up with Google Assistant as well as uh, Skylock. Now that we have everything set up and working properly, let's head back into the Govi application to check out some more of the settings. So here in the app, we can set a timer. So if we want them to turn on at a certain time or turn off, we can go in and adjust that there. Here we have the brightness settings. Here we have DIY where I showed you before where we can create custom flow of colors. But here I wanna test out the music. So if I turn on music, it is now going to automatically adjust the color based on any sound that it hears. So right here on the controller, there is actually a microphone, which is really nice because then it can interact with music without needing your phone nearby or anything like that. So you can see that as I'm talking, it's actually changing the lights and the color and the intensity based on the sound it hears. So let's play some music. Hey Google, play my new jams playlist. New jams. Here you go. So in the application, I can change and turn off auto color. So if I want it to have a specific color that it is changing to, you are able to do that. And now you see that it just changes the intensity based on that color. Now that we've tried out the music mode, let's head into the color options. So here again, we can just choose a specific color for it to go to. So here you can see as I'm choosing those colors, it adjusts on the background there. And then we have the scene. So here we have the morning scene. Here we have a sunset scene. So it will take some time to adjust that scene. So I think the morning one, it takes like 15 minutes to wake up. Here you can see the movie scene, the dating scene, the romantic scene, blinking scene, and then we have a candlelight scene. So it kind of flickers like candlelight, which is pretty cool. And then we can just go back to the regular color here and choose the blue option, like all the other lights back here. So I have noticed that these lights are just as bright as other lights that I have. Over on the side here, I have some lights by Xiaomi, which are the Aurora series lights. And these look just as good as those. So I think those are actually a lot more, but I've been really impressed so far with the Gobi lights that I have set up today. And the uh, intensity is really good. That's one of the hard parts to find with some of these light strips is the intensity of the light, as well as their access to your assistance and really being connected within your smart home. So it's great to see that these have both Amazon and Google Assistant compatibility. If you guys have any further questions about the Gobi Smart Lights, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos about some of the Gobi products, as well as other smart home products, check out my videos over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Turn off the office lights. You got it, turning off 12 lights.